early for this. So we are up bright and early. Today is premiere day. It's the premiere day. It's the pop-up shop day <laughs> of the premiere popping up in the shop it's too in the early. smaller theater because Stop. because they had to make it a smaller theater because no one <laughs> believes in Nor. No one believes Stop. in Nor. We went to Kosi for breakfast. We like that. Breakfast. Now we're on our way to our Fox 5 segment. Thank you. What's the name now? Nor. Okay. You know what the green room is, right? Yep. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, How are thank you? you. So so we're about to go on well I'm about to go on. Um, for a segment on Sold in America. Today is our premiere theater screening or whatever you want to call it. Um, but unfortunately it's private so we did, weren't able to open it to the public um <clears throat> but um uh, <laughs> but we're really excited to have um to have it it'll be amazing to see something that we've worked so hard on how many people the theater, theater hold 99 99 yeah i thought it was 140. no that was the other stop <laughs> oh how come they changed the theater <laughs> i wonder <laughs> So, um, there's been a little craziness, but uh, today's gonna be a great day. Tony, Adam's mom, came down from Boston. Um, our good friend Adige flew in from Chicago. She is staying with us, we, she's like sleeping. Um, and we haven't even gotten a chance to say hi, and today's gonna be a crazy day. So basically, what, what had happened was, right, what are you doing? you're gonna see the footage later in this vlog of the pop of the pop-up shop of the premiere <sighs> hi yeah and you're gonna see how packed it is well guess what oh my that gosh. theater was supposed to be 140 seats they didn't think nor tajuri who who by the way packs 400 people for a pop-up shop no big deal they didn't know that she was gonna bring 140 people which they could have got a 200 seat or 300. Um, what do you mean? It's it, we didn't even post about it. It wasn't even public. Like we literally so, did this without even saying anything. So she packs 300, 400 people for a pop up, but her own company doesn't think she's gonna fit 140 for a theater. So what company. do they do? Can you stop? I'm just saying. It's not her company anymore. By the time you see this vlog, for sure. You know this vlog is supposed to come out in a couple of weeks. I don't care. <laughs> And they didn't think that she was gonna fit 140, so they downsized to save a little bit of money. Yeah. What? Yeah, I mean. To 99. So now only 99 people could fit in there. And when you count me and Nora's family, that's 99 people. <laughs> Everything he said, for the most part, was true. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't ever blatantly a money thing. It was more like okay. we had zero RSVPs. It's okay, you don't have to, I... Which, like, just let me, be, let me be the angry husband, you just... Okay, I just... I'm a neutral on camera. I'm not. I got a ring. <laughs> Bye! That's true. Same couch. And that's something that we delve into uh, in the series. And a lot of that is rooted in racism um, and just taking advantage of marginalized communities and um, not being there for the right people with me. This is Adam no, yeah, no. driving without hands on the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. So, whew, it's premiere day. Premiere day! We met these amazing. Um, French folks. Oh, sorry, you have to turn left. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is so crazy. We were just arguing about the direction. <laughs> I'm so sorry for anybody who has to watch this. You don't have to watch the rest of this, honestly. You don't. You probably shouldn't. We met these amazing French people who uh, opened a restaurant and uh, we got invited to the family and friends dinner at the restaurant because we're so lovely. And one of the chefs said, I had good, she's like, I feel you have good energy. And anytime anyone says something like that, that makes me happy. 
Um, I love being on the DC Fox station because, wow, Adam, oh my God. Oh, did you just get that ticket? Did you just get that ticket though? I feel like I am still kind of sleepy right now. Uh, the segment went well. I think I need to actually like sit down and work on some talking points for media just because like I realized like I ha kind of had a realization moment while I was on set that the questions that people are going to be asking I have to be ready to answer those questions and I think I've been so deep into it that like my immediate mindset is to go to the complicated stuff. I shouldn't have, like I shouldn't be doing that. I should be keeping it simple, especially when doing interviews and stuff. So, you live and you learn. Uh, yeah, I've always, I've just realized like, whenever you do TV segments, just don't take it so seriously afterwards. Like, it's okay. You say something and then you move on. As long as you don't say something terrible. So I just left Pete's. Um, and was doing some work there and now I have training. So I started back up on training, like working out and stuff, which is great, except I'm extremely sore. Okay, that's next on the Noir Show. Oh, my God. oh okay. Yeah. Oh, I probably should start the time. <laughs> there Let's we go. Try. Damn. Relax. <sighs> Don't relax too much, though. We have to vlog everything from the premiere today, except you should also vlog that. Yeah, that's what's in the yeah, like, Got another addition to the collection. We have a lot of Mickey inspired. These uh, were oh wait, what am I doing? Yours. Oh yeah. Exactly For Nora's A Woman's exactly Job ago. premiere, we got her Wonder Woman. You knew he really wanted it. I mean, he was to surprise. Thing, uh, postcards, a little thing, and another little thing that have no use. Well, we um, got them. Yeah, because you won't let me use the stand. This year. And a mug. This year, I got her Wonder Woman fidget spinners because she is late on the fidget spinner wave. Yeah, I am. Yeah, that was Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, those are Wonder the... Woman wax melts, peony. Oh, oh and it's like my Wonder favorite Woman. flower. Wow, that actually smells, smells really amazing. good. How did you get? So you put them on top of like the candle thing and you put like baby candles under it and it melts and then it scents. Where did you find a Wonder Woman Yeah, candle? where did you I find that? Wonder Woman candles. Oh my gosh. Wait, that can't be, that's all. No, it's not most of oh, this. And I, this is what what kind of person this doesn't check even... the bag to make sure that it's I empty? I this, always look for more gifts. You like this and then it melts this and, and then the scent out. comes out. Wow. So we are all about that like incense, candles. Oh, I love these. I used to have these. My mom had these Is that too. why our house always smelled like that? No, because I didn't they were, like, really strong. I tried peony, to get you peony. This is beautiful. Peony. Oh, peony or peony. I tried yeah. to get you the warm cookie scented one. No, I, I was like, oh, oh, that's amazing. You're but running also, up this is my favorite flower. You're running up that. the tab on this vlog. Okay, huh? okay, all right. Oh my. <laughs> oh wow. What do you know about? Do you not know about this? I did, but I forgot. These are incredible. Thank you. You're welcome. These You're are welcome. amazing. <laughs> wow, yeah, that looks amazing. Of yeah, course. When I, oh god. <laughs> I did not now premiere ready. <laughs> I'm just trying to see this. Yeah, I'm actually looking at my makeup this way. Um, so yeah, we're premiere ready. This jacket, I was just telling everyone I got at a vintage shop in LA. Shout out to Adam for finding that. <laughs> and then the last finishing touches. Eric is following me around today. As usual. <laughs> per usual for the podcast. Number one bag. Number one bag. He's like, I know you, but I don't. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> where are we? We are walking into Gate 2, where they will be shown sold in America. 
hard to see your work up on screen, let alone like yeah. something that you can <laughs> you see yourself? <laughs> oh my god, you put your nose in there. <laughs> it takes a village to produce this kind of work. And in this case, it's an extremely talented team of four. It's correspondent Nortagori, producer Kate Brunke, videographer and editor Kevin Clancy, and supervising producer Zach Toombs. I have to tell you, as one of the more senior journalists at the Bureau, I have to say that working with this team and actually watching the whole Newsy team working across cable and the over-the-top TV, um, I feel very, very confident about the future of journalism. Thank you all so much for, for being here. This is a very surreal moment for all of us. Um, it's something that has been in the works for a year now, um, and for those of you who know me personally, for years now. Um, this, I can say confidently, has been a dream project um, for all of us to work on and, and is the best thing, I think, we've ever done. Um, and so I'm very, very, very proud um, of the, the product, but I think that we were able to take a topic that is so hard to already digest and understand and hopefully bring it to you all in a way that is not only digestible, um, but expands your perspective and your understanding on what is sex trafficking, what is sex work, what is the sex trade, um, and what we can do about reducing the harm in the industry. Um, one thing that I think I like just on the production side, it is one of the most beautiful things I've ever watched, um, and that is purely for because of the talents of Kate and Kevin. Um, but I just it it looks like it was easy to do, um, but this was by far the hardest thing probably for all of us to ever do. Um, and so those of you who know us personally know we've literally poured our lives into this. Some workers think changing the laws around prostitution could make it safer, but what would that look like? I came to Nevada to see the only place in the U.S. where sex for money is legal and out of the shadows. <laughs> wow, what a conceited. Wow, so vain. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Holy cow. This looks wow. like one of the best. Yeah, Victor said it's the best one you'll ever have. Wow. Is that a joke? Can you believe that? I couldn't tell. Are you hiding? So the Asian star. So last night was absolutely amazing and insane. Um, I just got the most lovely Urban Stems package from my amazing WME team. Like, oh, wish you guys could see it. There you go. Oh, I cry. Thank you so much. Adam has lived in DC for nine months now, and this is his first time going to the Lincoln Memorial, or any memorial for that matter, because our friend Eddie is here. It's a video, you silly. I don't know <laughs> what you want me to say. I'm in awe. I'm emotional. Are you emotional? I uh, did get a little emotional. Why? Um, Adam's a slow reader. That was crazy. I think it's because of just thinking about how far we've come and yet how little has changed. Yeah. Is painful. It's true. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and of course subscribe. And don't forget to hit me up on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. See you guys on the next one.